best budget cine lens that you can get? Let's find out. So what we have here is a Mica 16mm 2.2 T-stops cine lens for a micro four third sensor. The design of this lens is an all aluminium body. It has a filter thread of 77mm. Taking a closer look at the lens you can see that it's a manual lens. There is no focus motor within this lens. Um, on the side here we have got T-stops instead of uh, your typical f-stops that a uh, photography lens has this one has t-stops as is a more accurate reading it goes from 2.2 all the way down to 22 the focus wheel on this lens goes all the way from infinity almost 360 degree of the lens you do have stops on this lens down to 0.2 meters or 0.67 feet. The lens does not have uh, a removable lens hood. It has sort of a lens hood built into the lens. Um, it doesn't go down much depth to the glass, but it's enough to protect it from any slight bumps. As you can see on the back of the lens, the design of it is an aluminium design mounted onto the, your body of your camera. Um, the overall design of this lens is aluminium, there's literally no plastic at all on this lens. The quality of it is fantastic. Um, the T-stop rings and the focus rings are very smooth. There's, there is a little bit of resistance there. Um, and, and with the uh, focus as well but I think this is very well balanced it's not too tight and it's not too loose I think that it feels great overall um, I don't think uh, for instance if I was to put this on a cine lifter drone which is what I'm into then uh, I don't think these would move when they're flying in the air which is great video from the lens uh, we are using the wide open at t2.2 you can see that the, the quality of the image is very sharp uh, there's not much softness going on I think around the edges of the image it does kind of soften out but um, that is wide open which can be expected so you can see from the video that we are running t22 with no ND filter the aperture is closed all the way as it can go um, the overall image of the video is sharp, set to affinity on the focus wheel and we have very little chromatic aberration in the video. So what is my overall thoughts of the lens? Um, I'm a little biased because this is my uh, first Cine lens. I'm used to using photography lens like this one here. This is a 24-70 Tamron lens. Um, it's a little bit different to that. Uh, the main main difference I would say is the focus ring. The the throw on this focus ring is quite massive. I mean, if you were going to use this as a manual lens and focus it by hand, you might have some issues using the uh, focus wheel on this because of the massive throw on it. You you almost got complete 360 degree of this lens, so this could be tricky in some scenarios. Um, but you know, it's, it's, it's a minor drawback for me anyway. Um, if I was going to throw this on a drone, I wouldn't have that issue anyway. Um, I'm not sure if I will due to the weight. I would much rather use the lighter lens, to be honest. But um, I'll be using this for YouTube mainly, I think. But uh, yeah, the, the aperture ring on it as well. I like the idea of having more control over that. So, for example, like 
you could slowly move the aperture ring in between the numbers where on a photography lens you kind of set to the, the numbers on the lens you can't go in between them so there's, this is a much more accurate way of changing your aperture the, the quality of the glass I'd say is brilliant um, the sharpness of the lens I think is great uh, for the price point anyway I paid roughly about um, 320 pounds of this and this was directly from Mica as well um, if you bought it in the UK you would be paying a, a bit more I think it's about 420 I think maybe 400 pounds I'm not sure um, but uh, yeah I'm very happy with the lens I probably will get more of them to be honest for the Z cam um, I just like the small form factor of this lens compared to a full size lens. I know you can buy the um, speed booster or the turbo booster to go on the Zcam M2, but uh, I think I'd be happy enough to stick with these lens with this camera body. Um, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully, I'll be making more videos like this in the future and i have got some more drone videos coming up i know a lot of people on my um, youtube and instagram knows that uh, the majority of my videos is drone related but i would like to get more into uh, videography as well uh, not just drones so my youtube channel will not be just highly on drones it'll be a bit of both i think um, but uh, yeah i look forward to showing you more videos in the future uh, my next video i think will be on a new drone frame uh, I'm looking forward to that uh, that should be in the next two weeks I think um, I think I got it coming next week so hopefully I'll get a video out for that I think you, uh, you drone guys will be excited to see that frame to be honest it's a very nice frame uh, if you've not heard of it uh, have a look at um, uh, raw two aerials I think two seconds um, yeah, if you go on Google and type in Raw 2 Aerials and go to their website, go to their frames, and the frame you're looking at is the 2 Raw Afterburner. It looks like a very exciting frame. So that'll be my next video, I think. But uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next time. Cheers for watching. Cheers.